guys, today I'm here to do a video all about how to get what you want in life, something that we all once. Basically just talking about motivation and skills that I think are important to actually achieve your goals. In the end, getting what you want is really mainly something that has to be within yourself and you really have to want it. So I'm just saying that I do think that I have 10 important tips that may help you guys along the way. If you're new to my channel, I upload every Sunday and Thursday or Sunday or Thursday of the week, so you should definitely subscribe. Also, in my last video, you guys seem to like the lighting in here, so I'm just filming another video in here. It may not be for sure like my main spots, but I think natural lighting is nice every once in a while. Everyone seems to hate really long intros, so we're just gonna go ahead and get into the video. Tip number one would be to actually ask for what you want. So many times I feel like we put up these barriers and we act like, oh no, this is so silly, this is so stupid, I can't just ask for this, when in reality, if you just want something, try asking for it. Sometimes I'll just be so down on myself, I'll be like, oh my gosh, this always happens to me and I never get this. People can't read your mind. Sometimes you just have to ask them for what they want and they might give it to you. I was reading Hashtag Girlboss, which is such a good book. It's by Sophia Amoruso, I believe. But she said this in the book and it really spoke to me. If you're frustrated because you're not getting what you want, stop for a second. Have you actually flat out asked for it? If you haven't, stop complaining. You can't expect the world to read your mind. You have to put it out there. And sometimes putting it out there is as simple as just saying, hey, can I have that? And the worst thing that can happen is rejection. And they say no, and you move on to something better. Sometimes just asking for stuff is what we need to do. And it's something that I need to get better at. Number two is fairly obvious, but it is to work for it. Success doesn't come without hard work. It just doesn't. You really have to want something and you have to work hard and not slack off or put it off or procrastinate. However, I do want to mention a super cool company for you college students who may like to procrastinate. There's a really cool website called Lubo Learn and they basically create little notes and study guides for people who have midterms or tests or you just want to do better in a class in college. These range in price. I was looking online and some are $3, some are $9, but honestly, what is better to invest in than your education? Maybe stop getting Starbucks every day for the week and get yourself a study guide so you can get an A. I know it's really hard in college to keep up your grades because college is so much harder than high school. So I've heard I am in high school, but Lubo Learn is just such a cool company for people who do like to procrastinate because let's say you forgot to make a study guide or notes or something. Go on there, you find one you like and you study and you get an A. I'll have Lugo Learn down below. Such a cool company. I definitely am so for this. I know I'm going to be using it a lot next year. But yeah, hard work pays off. Study, research, practice until you can actually get what you want. Number three would be to always keep your game on. I feel like a lot of times we have bad days and we like to say, oh, today's a bad day, so I'm just gonna sit in my bed and watch Netflix. The most successful people don't let bad days bring them down. If you're having a bad day, take it as a sign that, okay, I'm gonna work harder and I'm gonna beat this bad day. That's the mindset that I've been trying to have lately. Don't get on Netflix or eat a tub of ice cream. Go and do your homework or study or edit a video or whatever that may be to attain your goals. Number four would be to stop complaining. This is definitely the biggest thing is to have a positive mindset. Or if you don't get an opportunity that you really wanted, try to find more opportunities. That's something that I do. A brand rejects me from a business deal. I'll say, okay, I'm gonna find a cooler brand. Take it as a challenge. I think negativity is so, so detrimental to hard work and success and you just gotta cut it out and keep a positive mindset. I know easier said than done, but it's so, so important. Number five would be to write out exactly what you want. I feel like sometimes we work towards goals that are really vague and we're just saying, oh, hey, get better grades, get this job, etc." Write down specifically what you want. Have an A in biology, get this raise for my job, whatever it may be, write them out and maybe post them on your mirror or on your planner and so you have something to look towards every day. Number six would be to visualize what it would be like to get these goals. Something that really motivates me, if I'm in this mode of procrastination, I'll just think, oh my gosh, imagine how good it's gonna feel to be done with my homework, to have A's and to be getting into college that's gonna be a great feeling and so I look towards that to motivate me. I know this method of motivation doesn't work for everyone people will just be like okay cool I'm gonna keep procrastinating but for some people like myself it definitely is helpful to think of attaining those goals all the sweat and tears and blood doesn't matter because you made those goals number seven would be to be open to constructive criticism sometimes people can see what you need to improve in more than yourself I feel like a lot of times they'll take constructive criticism as like judgment 
when it's not necessarily that. To be successful and to get what you want, you need to constantly be looking for what you can improve in. While recognizing, yeah, I'm good at this, but hey, so-and-so is a little bit better than me in this. I'm gonna go to that person and see how I can improve. Number eight would be to be thankful. Never feel entitled to anything. Never feel like I deserve this without even working. I deserve this job because I've been here for so, so long. No, you don't deserve anything. Entitlement is such a bad mindset to have. It's awful. It creates envy and jealousy and just anger. And it's so not a good trait to have. Every single day, write down what you're thankful for. Sometimes I will do this and I'll give myself like five things I have to write down and I'll put those down and I'll be thankful for them just so I keep gratitude into my daily routine and I'm not always trying to take what someone else has or anything. You're just thankful and you're grateful and you recognize the good in us. Number nine seems to be kind of like common sense, but make sure you can handle what you want. I feel like a lot of times we work really hard for something and then we get it and we're like, crap, I cannot handle this. It seems like common sense, I know, but you really need to make sure you can handle all that pressure and anxiety and all the stuff that comes along with having a new job or getting into a degree that's harder than the one that you have right now. So just make sure you can handle those pressures. But at the same time, push yourself. And lastly, study other people who have what you want to get what you want. That was kind of confusing to say, but if someone has the job that you want, maybe go to them, ask some questions, figure out what they did to get that job. If you see someone who has all A's and you're like, hey, I wanna know how I get all A's, study them. Sounds kind of creepy, but I feel like the best way to be successful in something is to go to people who are successful in that something. So that's everything that I have to say for this video. I really hope you guys got a few tips. I know this like February, March, April time of the year is so hard to push through. It feels like it's never ending, but push through it because we have goals to get. If you want to watch my last video, it was a really fun get ready with me, wake up with me video. And I basically showed you guys my everyday makeup routine. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Bye friends!